Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting in a Fan. Good evening to all of you, and may you and yours be happy and healthy, safe and well, and stay that way. Right now the time is approximately 12.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, it is technically uh, the next day, which in my case would be Thursday, December 3rd, 2020, although sometimes I cheat. Or sometimes I, I don't say it's the following day until after sunrise. Um, but anyway, um, so yes. Yeah, so I'm going to say, you know, that it is now officially Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. So welcome to wedding day 24. 24. <laughs> no, I already did wait, wedding day 23. But this is wedding day 24. And I wanted to talk about chanting. Um, you know, and, and specific, well, I specific, well, I wanted to talk about sacred sound, but I specifically wanted to talk about chanting. And one of the things that, you know, it's funny because when I was thinking about this video earlier and I was thinking about like what I wanted to say, you know, I, music is such a, such a thing that is so universal. It's cultural, it's moving, it's powerful, it is, um. It is a language that has its own language, and it is something that can be found in virtually every culture, in every time, in virtually every time, every place, um, every historic period. Um, it is something that really is universal in that it is an integral part of virtually every culture, every society, every nation. Um, and... Um, Yes, and I just saw the the dark gray blur, dark gray blur, more commonly known as Durga. And one of the other things that I've always noticed is that when it comes to listening to music, I really don't listen to music um, like a lot of other people do. You know, a lot of people will listen to music when they're having sex or when they're making love. A lot of people will listen to music. Um, when they want to remain motivated and, and energized to clean the apartment uh, or to clean their home or to vacuum or to do this or do that. Um, some people play music when they're cooking. Some people play, play music when uh, they're writing. Um, I know for me personally, when I'm writing a blog post, I almost always listen to music. And the music isn't even anything like, you know, focus the mind or or new age type of music. Sometimes it's just music that just draws me in the moment. You know, I was finishing up a blog post um, yesterday during the day, and I was listening to C.C. Peniston on Spotify. Um, but there have been times where I've listened to Tracy Chapman, or I've listened to Delight. Wait a minute, Delight? I'm thinking it's not the right... No, it is Delight. Yes, I'm, just, I'm remembering the songs more than I'm remembering the name of the group. Um, but anyway, but, you know, so it's not even something about, like, why I'm listening to music. But um, I know that for a witch, sound is important. Sacred sound is especially important. And there are chants that are ours. You know, one of my personal favorite, um, and, you know, I mean, I've seen this called a witch's chant. I think it is specifically, or more specifically, or more accurately, a goddess chant. And I actually found the, the same version that was introduced to me several years ago on YouTube. So I will link the YouTube video um, where it has this original track. Um, but it is one of my personal, personal favorite um, goddess chants. And it's called Mother of Darkness. And it goes something like this. Mother of Darkness, Mother of Light. Earth beneath a soul in flight, songs of love and songs of life guide us to our heart. Beautiful. Well, the first time I heard that, I was like, oh. And you know, and the interesting thing is that the com the the chorus of the song is a more well known goddess chant. We all come from the goddess. And to her we shall return Like a drop of rain Flowing to the ocean 
Sean. Now that, I mean, the first time I heard that, I was like, wow. But the first time I heard the Mother of Darkness channel, I was like, oh, yes. So, so if, if nothing else, the purpose of um, this wedding video, this Witching Every Day in November video is threefold, like the threefold goddess. Number one, to remind you about the power of sound and the power of sound in making magic and engaging in witchcraft and engaging in ritual. That's number one. Number two, to introduce you to a chant that you may not have heard before. And number three, to remind you of the beauty and the power of a chant that you probably may have already heard from or heard of before and just forgot how wondrous and wonder filling and 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 how amazing and beautiful and powerful it is. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I wish all of you many blessings, many bright blessings and many magical miracles for you and for yours and for all of you in YouTube land. Have a beautiful night. Have a wonderful day. Have an amazing week and weekend. And I invite you to stay tuned for the next video, which will be coming soon or soon or <laughs> soon or sooner as opposed to later. And there you go. Good night and stay tuned. Bye-bye.